the parents and the educators and the family members who are here as well. I'm excited to introduce Daniel Hernandez so he can tell you a little bit about his story. Um, hello, I'm Daniel Hernandez. I'm really grateful and thankful to be, for being here, for being chosen as the rising star of the month. Um, in all my seven years at Wilhelmie, since I've been there since middle school, I've never received any type of award other than the casual like GPA award and the attendance award. Um, I'm 17 years old. I've been holding a steady, well, it was a 4.0 all the way up until junior year. That changed into a 3.5. And I've bought my own car. I've been, I've been going to work since the age of 16, and I've been working slash tagging on with my parents since the age of eight. And this has all been possible because of my parents. And um, obviously they're not here, <laughs> but um, I re really want to thank them for giving me this life and this oppor these opportunities that I don't think every, o every other kid gets. So um, I, I want to talk about uh, the change I've brought to, to my school, which I, I know it doesn't seem like much, it, is, it has just been me talking to some friends or like uh, spreading on some positivity in my classroom. Um, the main efforts I've, uh, the main efforts and the main change I've brought is among my small group of friends who don't know what fast play is or don't know what um, the California State Dream Act is. like just spreading on that awareness and just helping them achieve their goals because I want to achieve mine. Helping, passing on what they, uh, passing on the information that my sister has given me and spreading that um, knowledge amongst them. I've also, I've also been, been pretty much uh, a hard worker since, since the age of, since, since the, since the age of eight, I was, I was tagging along in the ice cream truck that my parents had or that they owned and we'd always go after school, my sister and I, and sell ice creams and then until sunset. And then my parents started owning a party rental business and me and my sister would wash chairs and tables every single weekend and just, we would get driven that message of you gotta do this so you learn what hard work is and then appreciate what you have. And They've always instilled in me that the future, the future lies within school, that um, going to the university or going to a university and going to college is what's going to make me successful. And in a day and age, in times like this, that is really the only path you can take to get to those levels. And I, I really want to thank them for instilling that mentality into me and then helping me uh, helping me succeed in my goals as of right now. And that's all I have to say. Oh, thank you for the, for the Chamber of Commerce and uh, the sponsors of this program. Thank you guys very much. And I'll pass this on to Mr. Solano. They're so convenient, these ones. <laughs> um, get, I get the honor of working with Daniel in advisory in uh, government econ, and uh, three words came to mind when I was thinking about this young man, uh, gregariousness, genuineness, and uh, generosity, right? And generosity is really the one that, uh, that resonates the most strongly for me, because, and what brings all that together, those three Gs, is that idea of uh, friendliness and warmth, and I see this with uh, Daniel in advisory in Gov and Econ. Uh, when he's not there, there's definitely a brightness missing there, uh, and when he is there, how he brings his peers together, his friends, um, and as a teacher, there's a lot. Uh, it's it's easy to it, many times uh, the the narrative is backwards in that the students get so much from us, but I think it's really the other way around. How much we get from them. Uh, how much they give back to us and how much we grow uh, as a father, as a, as, a, as a teacher, as a member of the community. Uh, young men like Danny, his warmth, his generosity, his friendliness, that light that he brings with his peers really helps me to be more, helps me to be better, and it inspires me to do more. So thank you, Daniel, for what you do for me. And it's awesome. Um, a few years ago. Uh, I'm very proud of Daniel. This year was 
very difficult for both of us. Um, but I'm proud to say that our mother survived breast cancer. And he didn't let that prevent him from reaching his goals. He's still obviously on track to graduate. It's a very um, life-changing thing. And while we were all upset, crying, he said, no, like, stop crying. There's obviously things we can do, which is why she survived. And I'm just really proud of him that he kept such a positive mentality and that he is now receiving a Rising Star Award. So thank you. Thank you.